air conditioning and life welcome this is Brian if you haven't subscribed that's all right but please if you like this content like it hit a comment make a comment on it we need to get our gauges right off the bat so I've already walked into this house let's see what's happening they said it was icing up let's check it out all right here we are what do we got here we've got a Gibson Gibson product right now so when you see units that look like this Gibson to pan Frigidaire uh, these are all owned by Nordine and also Nordine um, so it's a conglomerate you know like just the way the HVAC industry works there's always somebody out there that's got a lot of money and wants to buy somebody out ah, but uh, they're headquartered in Missouri so maybe that is good but what year is this we don't know there's the sticker can you tell sticker's gone so what we'll do is what you can do is look behind this panel look for a model serial number we do know it's a heat pump look at that um, we don't know if it's R22 what year it is what tonnage so we're gonna have to find out this thing I'll go inside and look at the indoor coil and that'll tell us a lot so let's go up there actually right now and check it out and since it looks like it's low on the refrigerant right off the bat we're gonna take the prowler up there what we got here We've got an air handler up in the attic and they taped it like crazy you know installers out there don't buy on to that whole thing that every little crack and hole needs to be covered and closed up you're allowed a certain amount of leakage you know what I'm saying leakage from the unit you're you're allowed a certain amount and the units are designed for that but at least they just have that good old foil tape and not the mastic which is horrible and i know some of you can can shout and amen on that let's take a look at this model number here Ooh, i heard something fall inside there I bet you that's ice. Did you hear that? So let's pull this thing off and find out some information. Alrighty, so this is an 042. So that is a three and a half ton air handle. Let's take a look.
I don't know if you can see that, but on top of that TXV, it says R22 with a circle. That's how we know what kind of refrigerant is in the system when you don't have an outside sticker. Then we come here and the nomenclature of this air handler says that it is if you can see it, a T 42K. So that's 42,000 BTUs. So, so we've got a leak in that coil. Coil's bad. So we're going to cut, cut on power. Let's get it running. Let's go see how low that thing is. So we'll put this back together and head out. No nomenclature on the inside as far as identification of the unit, model and serial number, it's nothing. And this happens during time, right? These things get rubbed off and all that good stuff. Somebody put in a, I want to show you this. Let me show you this. Somebody put in this fan motor. Uh, how long ago was this? 2015. And, and I just want to recognize people's work. Uh, man, look, this is the fan motor wires that are in these red zip ties. Look at this. How neat and tidy is that? running all the way up just like that and then he writes down here OEM condenser fan motor and he puts the part number and then he says I put I replaced a run capacitor with a part number of 50 slash 5 a Mars and then of course 5-5 five five of 2015 so that was 10 years ago. Man, I love it when people do that kind of stuff. So we're waiting for this thing to kick on here. I'm gonna run inside and see if there's a time delay. Oh, there it is. No, I'm not. <laughs> I tell you what, this, this thing is low on refrigerant. I tell you what, do you see it? Do you see it? So we are low on refrigerant. If you look at the suction pressure here, we're at 50. This is an R22 system, and remember, R22 runs at a lower pressure. Our superheat, which is SH, we want it to be between 5 and 25. 
just to get it right there in the range. And we've got 54, way too high. In order for that number to drop, we have to drop the coil temperature. So in other words, we've got to add refrigerant and it's R22. Just can't do that anymore. It can be very costly. Well, we want to take a look in here, look for any swelling in that capacitor on that top ridge. It'll poof out. Make sure we don't have any burnt connections while we're here. Uh, look and see how much pitting is in that uh, contactor. So I'm going to look at it. Uh, it's right there. There's contact points right there above and below that brass of that push button. It's been firing a little warm, but that's normal for the age. Looks like this unit is probably about 21 years old. So, yep. The wire connections, make sure they're good, no burnt wires. We're gonna recommend replacement of the system. Give them some options, you know? Well, we finished up that service call on a 20 year old system. And it has the old refrigerant. Sometimes things leak. So what does that look like? For us, sometimes we leak ourselves in a bad way. We leak the old man, the one we crushed, the one we did away with from our past, and he wants to leak out a little bit. It doesn't have to be that way. And I believe that freedom comes where we put our focus on God. But sometimes we get a little leaking. We need to correct that thing. Just like this air conditioning unit, it was leaking the old, old refrigerant. <laughs> sometimes you can fix it, sometimes you can't. You need to replace it. You need to be born again. <laughs> I'm telling you, all the answers to this life are in a book and in a person. I'm telling you, it's a good thing. So I gave them options. Man, it was very, very tough because it's a big, it's very expensive and to do this thing. Uh, to come out with a with a new system, with the new refrigerant, the new new refrigerant, the A2L, very expensive. And I feel for the homeowners, man. I feel for you. But we do what we can. And sometimes it is what it is. So we need to, to seek wisdom and counsel. And the homeowners asked me my what I thought. If it was my home, right? What would I do? And I look at it like that way. If this is my grandma, if this is my mom, if this is my sister, what would I do? How would I handle this thing? And that wisdom only comes from above. But anyways, I hope you like this video. And uh, yeah, good stuff. I'm grateful. <laughs>